Hey, welcome to this uh, Flask tutorial. So, in this video, you will see how to get started with Flask web development. So, first we will see how to install Flask, then we will see how to uh, quickly get started with Flask uh, uh, development, then we will see how to use Bootstrap in your Flask project, then we will see how to create a login page in your Flask web app. So, let's get started. So before you get started with uh, anything on Flask, so you need to have Python installed in your system. So here uh, I have, I'll show you the Python version that I'm running in my system right now. It's uh, Python 3.8. So <coughs> I'll create a project directory, project directory. It's diff, let's say it's a login app. I'll navigate to the login app and from inside the login app I'll create now uh, we require virtual environment for, for this thing so with Python 3 the virtual environment we already have it inbuilt so you simply need to type in ven for virtual environment and the environment name so I'll name it ven only so that creates a virtual environment uh, in the project inside the project directory so once you have the virtual environment now I'll show you. So we have VEN. So if you navigate to VEN and you do a DIR, you can see that there are some files inside. So we'll just navigate uh, from our project directory. We'll simply activate uh, the virtual environment. So I'll just go to VEN slash script slash activate, and that activates the virtual environment you can see here the name of the virtual environment that means it's activated I can also deactivate it here so if you do deactivate the name simply goes away so you can activate it the name comes here so now we'll start by installing flask that installs flask in your project and that thing stays inside the particular virtual environment only Once you have a uh, Flask installed here, all you can do is uh, I'll just open the code using Visual Studio Code here. So here we have our virtual environment. So outside the virtual environment, we can create a file called app.py. Now this is a Python file. Let's start by importing Flask. So from Flask import Flask. Now once you have Flask imported, create an instance of Flask. Create an instance of name. Let's create a route, app.route. This will be the default route. And I'll give a route function here. Just name it as uh, home. This will return a message saying welcome. code handbook I'll save it and I'll run the flask app plus run and go to your browser load the URL here you should be able to see welcome to code handbook now let's try adding some HTML also let's see if it renders fine it's too save it run it again okay that works fine now let's move this html code to a separate file maybe an html file so i'll do one thing so in flask what we do is uh, we keep our html file the templates in a separate folder so i'll create a template folder here the root of my project directory called templates inside i'll create one file called index.html and i'll do one thing i'll move this code to inside our index.html and here to render um, html or render templates we will import one more module from flask import render template 
you can use that to render the templates render template and inside you need to give a name of the template so it's in our case it's index not HTML I'll save the change I'll rerun it now if you load the application here you should be able to see welcome to code handbook this is being loaded from your index.html file now let's do one thing now we'll see how to add bootstrap so we'll just style it up, style it up a bit so uh, what we're going to do is uh, to just go to your bootstrap site here you need to download uh, the package the compiled CSS and JS and we'll be creating a login page right so I, I, I'll simply uh, take some HTML from some existing code here so as you can see there's a sign page on bootstrap so what we'll do is we'll, we'll take this HTML for the time being I'll just copy it out and replace it in our index.html page now here if you can if you see I'll just remove the, these things and all the meta and links which are not required the main thing that is really required here it's like the, this bootstrap uh, lib and uh, one sign in dot CSS is there so and okay, this image we don't require okay the rest is good so uh, we need to have a place in our application where we can store the bootstrap libraries and all or like custom styles and JS scripts and all so what we'll do is we uh, we just downloaded this thing our template so I'll do one thing I'll extract this files extract it and I'll copy the files here okay here it's here so I'll go I'll copy the CSS and JS and go, go to my login app inside I'll create a folder let's create it from here so it's a bit more clear you create a folder called static now static is the folder where we keep our static files we go to static here inside I'll paste the CSS and JS now anything inside the static folder can be accessed using slash static so this thing is inside our CSS so we just need to add slash static slash CSS and you'll be having the bootstrap min.css file here right similarly we also have one more style here it's called sign in dot css so sign in dot css I'll pick up from this site mm, this is the style I'll just simply copy and create I'll create one more file here called sign dot css and inside I'll paste this and here I'll change the path as slash static slash CSS slash sign in dot CSS now that that looks fine so now let's restart our application here everything is saved I'll restart the application now once we have restarted the application let's go to a page and reload as you can see you should be able to see the sign in page here so, uh, so I so I hope you find this video useful so in this video we saw how to use uh, how to get started with your flask uh, framework and how to use bootstrap inside this uh, flask app and how to create a simple sign in page although we didn't go really into the implementation to the sign in so for the sign in implementation we'll take care in the next part of this video so i hope you like this video do let me know your comments uh, like thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching